<laughs> Hello, Cinternet. Today we are going to do a unboxing of Limo Studio. What would this be? A light kit? Yes, yeah, what I would call it a lighting kit for uh, photography or for making YouTube videos. <laughs> we have already opened this box, like cut it open because it was taped up pretty good. And on the box it says not to use a knife. So I will do a different video on how to set up the most part of this. We probably won't set up the big ass green screen. The green screen is what size does the paper say? A 10 by 20, 20 foot green chroma key muslin backdrop. There's what the packaging says. This is a pretty good size green screen. It feels like pretty good fabric. It feels like it's yeah. probably thicker than a curtain. It like the fabric you find like at a photo studio. Yeah, photo studio. Yeah. I had a friend tell me how to use this. His name is ZTV. I will link him in the card and I will put him in the end screen so you could check him out. He does news around the internet and he is very cool so you should follow him. This is one of two umbrellas. Yeah, it's a two 33 inch photo studio white premium umbrella reflector. It just opens up like, like a standard umbrella. It has like a little push button thingy in here. You push the button and that's bad luck to open one in the house. What's going on here? Oh. A big white string. And then it has like the same click up here at the top. Like a really cheap, like you're going to get wet umbrella. It's a reflector, so it reflects light. Yeah. But this was all very well packed. It was packaged in here. I think three of these. Oh, three. I thought you were still on it. Oh, well, there's two of these. And you see how the first one works. I'm pretty sure they both work exactly the same. And then the nipple clips. <laughs> now, these are heavy duty clips. They're, and they yeah. are like major clips. Like they would <clears throat> suck to get clipped by. Insides, if you can see, move. Yeah. And I will link below where I got this whole kit. I only paid a hundred bucks for it on Amazon. What do we want to open next? This? Uh, sure. This is a light bulb. It says on there. A light bulb. You should have count them. Three, three light bulbs. 45 watt light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. These, I have already opened one. That is a major light bulb. Three light bulbs. Mm. And then this is parts and pieces. Now this is uh, your light fix where your light bulb goes. Wires and where your light bulb goes. There should probably be what two of these? And it has this on and off switch on the back side. What is that? Oh, three single head photo lighting fluorescent light holders. I think we'll be able to get that back in the box. Okay, because then you got two. Like stands and uh, tall ones. Right ones here's what small. we are looking at. And like I said, I will link it below. So in case you want to go out and check out the light kit, you can see it too. This is exactly what I showed you before. It's just a little light bulb holder. Oh, and that one went back in the box. We're almost through this box. No, this has uh, uh, two four inch photo studio canvas muslin paper backdrop. Lamps. Oh, so there's only two of these. I was wrong. I thought there was three. There is only two. Another light bulb holder. A tall, yeah. small. Oh, it's so cute. Tripod. Tri I can't a even tripod? speak. A tripod? A tripod light. It's I'm a light stand. So not with it. But it sets up fairly easily on this end of this. And then it has this little knobby thing here. You twist it, lock it into place. It's just like if you play with a tripod, it's just like the same thing. And then it has the adjustable poles to make it taller, shorter. I don't remember how tall the taller ones get. That one gets 28 inches tall, and then these get 86 inches tall. So how big would that be like in real life terms? Oh. It seems like uh, really good metal. Like it's two kind of, two foot four inches and then the shorter one is two foot four inches and the taller one is these seem like really good metal for it, what they are. Is it seven foot? It'd and, be seven foot two inches. So it's pretty tall. And then your light fixture and your umbrellas, I guess, go on top of 
these taller poles and then this one's just the light fixture on its own. If we stood that up all the way you wouldn't be able to see it so we're just gonna show it like it is. But there's two of these poles and they have the same knob that locks everything into place and it's same up there. I am not big on these twisty ones because all my tripods have always had the clamp locks but it is what it is so I'll just learn to use them and chances are wherever I put this it probably will not be broke down very often because it seems like it would be a lot of work to have to set these lights up, put them down, put them away. There's two of these big tall ones. They pretty much close up almost like an umbrella. Don't pinch your fingers, you know, all that good stuff. And here's something in a bag. That would be your stink. Yay, no box in the face. Yay. Had an unboxing and then a reboxing. And then we have a whole lot of boxes on the table, clips, and then we have a green screen, huge thing, just a rundown of what came in the box. Looks like a bunch of white boxes. Yes, it is a bunch of white boxes. A whole lot of Velcro for this part. Oh, sounds like a whole lot of metal. But this is your stand. Hold your green screen or you could buy other screens to put as your backgrounds. If you've ever had your pictures professionally taken, they always have some kind of different background. This is kind of like the same thing except it only holds one canvas. You unclip and put a new canvas on. You're getting all this. Built. Yeah, this is not going to all come be put together here. There is not enough room in this little room for this. But this opens up exactly like the light fixtures, except it has a, what is that, a washer? Yeah, it's a wing nut. A wing nut on the end. Can you see it? A wing nut on the end to uh, put your other poles on. And then it's got more adjustable things, so you can adjust your height and stuff. It does have some washers. Oh, it does have washers. Two well, washers and a wing nut. We could oh. pull that out and take a look at it. See what's in there, what's hiding in this box. Poles. <laughs> Lots of poles. We're trying to see how it kind of goes together. These poles look like. And another stand like yeah, this. Yeah. It has two end stands because common sense says if it's got one stand on one end, it's going to have an exact stand on the other side. And that's what's on the other side of this bag. It's line three slots for each piece of your big stand that holds your fabric. Um, is this like easily open? These are marked. This is pole B. There's probably A, B, C, and D because there's four poles there. I think we got a winner. A, B, nope. We got A, B, B. <laughs> Yay! A, B, B, D. What I happen to see? We have letters. But it has the A, B, B, D. Um, you put it in, pop it in, um, things, you pop all your poles together. And there is where your, the stand top goes in there. And that little hole, if you can't, can you see it? The little hole there. And then you put your washer on the top, and voila, you got a huge stand. Man, thing's really tight. Yeah, it's supposed to. But for what I paid for this, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, this bag's pretty heavy duty. It did say online, if you're going to use it outside, make sure it's not a windy day because it will blow over. But I'm sure with any stand that you get, it's probably going to give you the same warnings. Don't use it outside on windy days. If it's sunny out, why would you probably be using all this equipment anyway? Maybe you might use a background. I don't know, but for a hundred bucks, I think it's worth it. I mean, you have to really come up with a good size space for the 10 by 20 screen because this room, mm -hmm. you'll never see it. Yeah. This is probably what a five foot room by I six don't even feet. I think it's five foot. More like maybe four foot by five foot or something. I don't know. I'd have to measure. But that is what I got for you today. Don't forget to check out Zach DTV. I will link him. And the end screen and the box below, all those places that you see everybody that I talk about, and that card up there too. As I always say, show me some love, like, comment.
comment, subscribe, become part of the crowd. Check that box below, see all the other places I am on the internet, and we will catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll try to set all this stuff up and show you how it's done.